Centers for Research.org states, Animals are playing an important role in many people's lives. Did you know the Humane Society for the United States, also the HSUS.org, states that many adoptable dogs and cats are put to sleep due to overcrowding in shelters. Hello, my name is Orlando Alfaro and I am a student in Mercy College studying veterinarian. In my vet tech classes, we are told it is better to adopt a pet rather than to buy a pet from a store. Simon Sinek says in his TED talk, how great leaders inspire action. It is not what you do, it is why you do it. And a pet store is why it's just for profit. But Simon later explains that that is not a reason why. The end result is always profit. For shelters, the why is to find a loving home for many pets as dogs and cats alike. I am an example of why people wouldn't go to shelters because I went to a shelter to look for my companion and when I got there, it, it, when I got there, my pet wasn't there anymore. So as a last resort, I went to a pet store and I got my dog. Puppies and mama dogs are mistreated in, pu in puppy mills by being locked up in cages and in tight spaces and made to reproduce. Because of the man being so high, they are locked up and made to reproduce for that specific breed. Why do we need to adopt a pet? Based on the ASPCA website, ASPCA.org, the ASPCA estimates 10,000 puppy mills in the US alone. Can you imagine worldwide thousands of pets not being loved? In fact, by adopting one pet, you are helping many others so that the shelters can free space and let income and animals come in. According to this graph by the Animal Care and Control Euthanasia Reduction, in 2003, the number of euthanasias was 31,701. As 2013 came in, 6,124 euthanasias occurred, and the number is still decreasing. If you want to help because you can't adopt, you can. Adoptions are huge events in the city, and they always need help. Adoptions always can use a volunteer, and they can also help speak with people before they get an, a, a pet. You could also spay and neuter your pet, if you have one, at the ASPCA truck that drives around the city. This helps by not causing puppies to be born and creates more free space and shelters. Now you know how you can help. If you can't adopt, now here's what you can do. Either spay, neuter, or volunteer. And if you can't do that, then donate. Overcrowding in shelters equals scarce food and low supplies for pets. Animals will love their don your donations because it allows better care and more pets to be healthier in the adoption wards. Today I have told you various ways to help shelters by adopting, volunteering, spay and neuter, and also donating. Now envision yourself at an adoption ward and dogs looking at you with their face, licking their face all over, and cats scratching the posts, looking all playful. If that doesn't seem nice to you, then maybe you should bring a donation to the animal adoption place and smile at the people and watch them smile back and say thank you for your donation. Don't just consider adopting, go and adopt and or help today. Don't stop puppy mills by adopting and if you see this green color in the adoption wards, then you will see that the animal is friendly and they are very easy to take care of. If you know someone or yourself want to get a pet, then you should consider watching this speech and send them to the animal shelter to get a friendly Fido or feline today. Thank you.